Hi everybody, Mickey D here. You are watching Chaos Scene. Okay, so hello everyone. We are here at Bar Hönö today in Tampere, Finland, and I have the pleasure to talk to Mickey D from Scorpions slash oh, yes. Motorhead <laughs> slash a lot of different bands. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. It's great to be here. Uh, it's been a few years since I actually played here. I, I believe it was Motorhead last time, yeah. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Most likely yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah. And now today you will be also playing some Motorhead songs. Yes, I decided to... Um, because we have a little break with Scorpions uh, for this rest of the year and uh, I can't really sit on my own and not be playing so I got this little constellation together and uh, doing a few shows uh, doing some old classics and some motorhead stuff. So how does it it's great feel fun. to be performing yeah, those fun. songs again? It's great fun. I mean we do a couple of songs here that we haven't played we didn't play them with Motorhead for many years as well, so so it's it's a lot of fun. So obviously you visited in August also Wacken, where they had like celebration for Lemmy. So what kind yes. of event that was for you? That was a that was a fucking mud fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it, in terms of the festivity, nah, it's great. It's it's great. You know, uh, any way, shape, or form that we can celebrate Lemmy, his life, Motorhead in general which I feel very much involved in. Uh, so both me and Phil, we really enjoy it, you know. And uh, it was great, you know, people love it. People people show up and this parade we were doing, uh, it, it was amazing. Uh, just, yeah, it was all good. And then playing a couple of songs with Doro and I was jamming with Phil, I did Overkill with uh, Phil and his sons. So it was great, great fun. So I feel that like Motorhead is appreciated like even more at the moment than it was when you were still around and playing. Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, I I figured the day that we stop and maybe if Lemmy pass away, um, it'll get big or, or but I could not imagine uh, that it will go to this part because i think people miss motorhead in general they, they just miss uh everything around motorhead and motorhead over 40 years uh, earned that trust you yep. know i mean that 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 it was real there was no bullshit lemmy phil versal fast eddie clark uh, taylor N nobody has a fake bone in his body you know and it's all real so that i think would people missing a little bit and uh, and i do as well so i mean you know it's just phone is ringing like crazy but they'll quit in a minute <laughs> <laughs> now they quit so obviously before lemmy passed away you played last time in in finland and lemmy did the milk advertisement for yes. valio yeah. have you seen it yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it many times. I saw it. What kind of memories do you have when it comes to that? Do you remember Lemmy telling something you about it? Or yeah, yeah. He told me that he was going to do this commercial, but he had no clue really what he was going to do exactly. So um, the, the he didn't get the script until actually a little later when when he got there and stuff. But he was very excited. He, he loved doing this stuff. And I do remember that we we were having a pretty tough time. Uh, Lemmy was sick, he was tired, uh, and we could not get him off the road, you know what I mean? <laughs> Both me and Phil said, look, let's break. And we did this long before Finland and Sweden, and said, let's break, let's go back to LA, rest, eat, and we pick up the European tour again. But said no 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 we gotta we gotta play we gotta we we'll go okay you know so me and phil were talking and we said instead of arguing with lemmy trying to get him off the road let, let's let's just help him instead you know and and i remember you know the shows were we had to adjust a lot of stuff but i think we we and he did fantastic you know for i mean we last show was seventh no, 11th or 7th of... I think 7th, maybe. 7th maybe. of December in Berlin. 7th it was. And, and then 
couple of weeks couple ago. Of weeks later, yeah. the man is gone. So, you know, trust me, me and Phil put in 150%, and Lemmy must have put in 300%. Just yeah, for to, sure. To get through this, the set, so. You've obviously said that was him. You was you were obvious. You have obviously said in interviews that there won't ever be a Motorhead comeback. But would you see yourself making music with Phil Campbell in the future in some other project, for example? Well, you never know. I mean, me and Phil wrote great music, but he's he's fully involved with with his boys. Yeah, and I'm fully involved with with Scorpions. We're touring <laughs> a lot. Not right now, obviously, but. Um, We're on the road all the time with the Scorp, so I, I see, I, I don't say no, there's always possibilities. Uh, but of course, as I explained in, I think a podcast, I said, and some people misunderstood this, or actually they didn't. Actually, the press wrote the wrong things. Okay. I, I, I said, we will never ever get back together and replace Lemmy. Yeah, 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 That's impossible. I said, but doing little constellations, doing some tribute stuff, and that's that's great. Just yeah, to yeah, keep that's, motivated. That's a different thing. That's very, very different, you know. And I think they they said something, Mickey will never play Motorhead again. That was the 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 main headline on Blabbermouth. Mouth. I yeah. said that's not what I said at all. Of course I will play Motorhead. But I will never be a part of trying to put Motorhead as a band out there again with some other fucking idiot supposed to take Lemmy's place. Uh, so that's all I said. But but to do this, fantastic. And of course, we'd like to plan something bigger than this, you know, when um, in the future, hopefully. In 2020, there was some news about the Lemmy biopic happening and their filmings. So what's the situation with that let movie? Me, let me movie. Well, let me, oh. The biopic I, that was yeah, supposed yeah, I, to I, happen I, sometime in 2020, I, they I started think, doing, do you know anything about it? No, not really. I think they're working on it, but I cannot say yes or no, or I, I really don't know. I know there's something going on, but I, I don't know what. Okay, so, not, so nothing concrete that you are no, aware of? No, nothing at all. No, no, not that I know of, so. So your former bandmate King Diamond resurrected <laughs> yeah. Merciful Fate in 2022. So oh, they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you saw any shows? What's your opinion about that? Uh, Merciful Fate. Yeah. Yeah, I saw, but that's that's a few years ago, and and it's great. You know, King is still great, and Merciful Fate was a great band. Melissa, Don't Break the Oath, good albums. Uh, I just don't think that maybe they have that many records. Uh, a song treasury yeah as maybe king diamond yeah you know? for sure uh, they 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 make a big show out of maybe two albums and uh but what i understand it, it looks great it sounds great yeah yeah yeah. it was I, i saw it two times yeah, and it was so, very good i'm sure it is so i wish him all the best you know and and uh Yeah, it's great to see that he's still active, he's still playing, he still creates great music, and and we talk, you know, when when I'm in U.S. or he's, uh, you know, we, I, he came and saw us in Dallas where he lives, and you know, he's a big Scorpion fan too, so it's always good to talk to King, you know. So I checked from your Instagram that you were in studio with Andy De La Rock and Pete Black. So do that was you, yesterday. Yeah. What, was it was it some kind of like meeting thing or 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 do you no, have a new band project? Not, no, or? not really. We were just hanging out. I go to see Andy once in a while in the okay. studio. I've been recording other stuff in the studio. Okay. And Pete was in in Warburg as well. So we just sat around and and had a good time. So obviously your main priority at the moment is Scorpions. Yes, of course. Yeah. And the band will turn 60 in, in 2025 years. yeah so how long do you see yourself like scorpions being around and playing shows do you see that anniversary tour happening oh, in 2020 the guys are in great Five. shape you know they they as long as everybody's healthy and you still love touring and playing they can go forever you know 
you, that, you, people ask these questions how long can you go we heard it with motorhead all the time <laughs> and <laughs> you're in the same situation yeah now. <laughs> I, mean, say, I play with fucking old bands <laughs> i'm old myself but you've already now. been in scorpions also seven years yeah, so yeah. Time flies. And, and i'll be 60 this year you know halloween but uh no is uh, you can't really answer that question as long as everybody loves it and are healthy of course there's no reason to stop because I personally think we sound better today than ever. Yeah, the, since, the rock festival since, was amazing last year. Yeah, and and you know, Scorpions might have had a little bigger swing for a while there in in the in the early mid '80s. Blackout, uh, Worldwide Live, they had a big upswing and were very very popular. But on stage, we sound great today, you know. And also on album, Rock Believer was album. a very good album. Yes, yes. And my next question was going to be that, will that be the last album or have you talked about Again. making a new one? <laughs> Impossible to ask uh, or to answer because uh, we're still touring on this album. Uh, if you ask me this in two years. You'll have the answer for Maybe that. I have an answer for you. We would love to, to write a record. The problem with bands like Scorpions uh, is that we don't have much time. When are we going to do it? Yeah, yeah, you're always I on mean, the tour. I mean, we do a full US tour and leave in US. The flight left, uh, you know, 10 minutes and we already get a request. When are you coming back? Yeah. Well, listen, we got to do South America. We got to do Asia. We got to do Australia. We got to do Europe. Well, come back next week. <laughs> yeah, so that's so, fairly difficult to find a schedule for very, an album. We, we had a little bit of help of the pandemic, you know, because nothing was going on and we had planned to do the record at 2020. Yeah. And then this shit happened with yeah. the bullshit pandemic. So that was actually the only positive thing that he left us in the studio. We, we had no hurry. I was going up and down from Sweden to Germany. The boys were working very hard uh, in Germany. Right, but there was no stress. We we wrote the record, we recorded stuff, we we recorded it live, you know, and and no bands record live anymore. You nope. Know? So every single song is played from top to bottom live. Of course, not the vocal. Uh, he was singing with us, but of course you have to fix some stuff. But it's all the basic tracks are all live. It's great. But feeling. I think that's one of the reasons why it sounds. I so think good. it feels great. Yep and we had the time to do this uh, so do another record i would love to i'm sure the boys would love to but it takes a lot of work yeah, yeah, yeah. and and we have to stop touring and we are a touring band you know so we'll see last question before we wrap things up a little bit about the future what does it hold for you in general anything that you can say about the future yeah well now i'm going to be playing this fall here next couple of months with this and then i do a christmas show kind of it's not christmas but it, we call it christmas show in december in in Göteborg. it's a residency it's the third year uh in a row now okay but it's not got nothing to do with christmas but it's a rock show that i'm involved with and uh, then next year we're going to start touring again with scorpions maybe not in january but uh fairly soon into the year and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of touring next year. Okay, yeah. so calendar will be packed. It's going to be packed, definitely. Sounds good. And now I'm going to go and fucking slam some Motorhead songs for you up there. It's going to be so much great, great fun with these two guys that I play with, Victor and William. They're so funny and, and they're so nervous as well, <laughs> which makes it even more funny. <laughs> and uh, And they're doing a great job, you know. But this is one of the first shows uh, that you're we only doing done a few Sweden. together. Yeah. And uh, by the end of October, it's going to be even better, I'm sure. But it's great to be in Finland to do this. We have two shows here. We have two in Norway and the rest is in Sweden. And uh, people appreciate it. And I selected a lot of songs that are some of the old classics, of course, and then some more personal favorites Middle, yeah and and i mean we do sacrifice we do tragedy you know we do born to raise hell you know some some of the newer 
era with me as well, you know, so it's great fun. Thanks a lot for doing this interview with me and all the best for the future. Anything you want to say as a closer to all the fans? Yeah, we're going to beat you in the junior hockey uh, in December. He's lying. <laughs> I'm He's not lying. lying. And then next year, <laughs> World Cup again. Finland wins. We're going to come back. Here we are. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. Thank you. <laughs>